Atesonate for injection is a first-line treatment for serious malaria recommended by the World Health Organization for both adults and children. Atesan is the first atesonate for injection to be pre-qualified by the WHO. Before starting treatment, you should either weigh your patient or estimate their weight in order to calculate the dose of atesan required. They will need 2.4 mg of atesonate per kilogram of body weight. The atesan package comprises a bottle containing a fine crystalline powder. This is the atesonate powder for injection. A small ampoule of sodium bicarbonate. A large ampoule of sodium chloride. These three components are necessary to reconstitute atesan. Atesan is reconstituted under the usual conditions for preparing solutions for injection. So, wash hands. Use clean gloves and a clean tray or work surface and have a syringe, compresses and a disinfectant solution ready. Atesan is prepared in two stages. For the first stage of reconstitution, use the small ampoule of sodium bicarbonate. The bottle of Atesan should then be shaken until a clear solution is obtained. For the second stage, the dilution stage, use the large ampoule of sodium chloride. Do not use the Atesan solution if it has been reconstituted for more than an hour or if the liquid is not clear. The syringe is filled and the air pushed before administering the injection. The best way to inject Atesan is intravenously. Insert an IV line using tubing or inject directly with the syringe. Inject slowly. Intramuscular injections should be administered in the outer upper quadrant of the buttock. If the volume to be injected is high, the dose should be broken down and injected in several places. Atesan should not be used more than one hour after reconstitution. Injections should be administered upon admission at 12 and 24 hours and then every 24 hours until the patient can take treatment orally.